Hey YC family and friends, uh, today I want us to uh, dip into the first what I call hard saying of Luke uh, 14, uh, it's actually verse 25 and 26 is the first hard saying. Uh, but I want to talk about a refresher that we've done in this, uh, in this season with our mission and vision and who we are as a church. Um, you'll know that of course uh, our mission is to meet people where they are and love them to where Christ wants them to be. Um, you may know that our vision is to be a loving community of growing disciples, mentoring the next generation, to live the mission of Jesus through the power of the gospel. It's a great, that's great mission and a great vision, and those help kind of focus us and align us. The little refresher that um, that we've been doing in this season really came out of a time of concentrated and focused prayer that myself and some of our leadership team did. And kind of what I sense God saying uh, to my heart about this season of ministry at Yosemite Church. And that is, is that what God's called us to in meeting people where they are is to meet them and love them by whatever's, whatever matters to them to let them know, oh my gosh, that, that matters to us too because you matter to us. So it's helping people know they matter. When I meet you where you are, wherever you are, in a troubled marriage, um, difficult financial place, um, a health crisis, and I come alongside you as a believer, and anyone in our church family comes alongside you, we're saying, you matter, and what matters to you matters to us. That's, that's the way you love somebody. And if you've got people in your world that you're wondering, how do I love them well? You just need to know, you need to communicate that whatever matters to them in this moment with them matters to you also, because they matter. The, the, the thing that has to happen, and this is the refresher to our vision, is we want to help people know they matter, and we want to nurture them to a place where they know, because of Jesus, what matters most and to begin to reorient their lives to the things that matter most, the things that Jesus calls us to. That's the journey of discipleship. What Jesus did while he was here in Luke 14 and 13 and 12 and all the way back, what we see in every chapter of the gospel message, what we see in the, in the, in the epistles as they write about how they've been impacted by Christ, is that what Christ did was met people where they were in the place of whatever was mattering for them in the moment, but he empowered them to let go of the ancillary things that matter to them and reorient themselves to the things that matter the most. The call to discipleship in Luke chapter 14, verses 25, when Jesus says, and these are all these hard statements end with the same little phrase, cannot be my disciple, unless someone hates their father and mother, their, 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 their wife or their husband, their brother or sister, even their own self, unless they hate themselves, unless they hate all these relationships, they cannot be my disciple. What is Jesus saying? Is he saying we should really hate? Well, we know that the biblical message is never about hate. Christ's message was never about hate. This is the only time he's going to say this kind of statement. He says it, something similar in, in the Gospel of Matthew where Jesus says, unless you love me more than father, mother, Love me more than wife, husband. Love me more than brother, sister. The point that Jesus is making is that unless you recognize that whatever, matter, whatever relationship matters to you, unless I matter more, you've missed discipleship. You've missed the point. Because the point is, just as Jesus answered that, that religious leader's question, what's the greatest commandment? Love the Lord your God. It matters most. What commandment matters most? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And the second, which is like the first, but not as great as the first, love your neighbor as yourself. The greatest commandment, what matters most, is our love for God, is our yieldedness, surrender to Jesus. He's saying, to be my disciple, you have to, you have to know what matters most. 
the fresher, the refresher to our whole vision is really about what Jesus has said matters most. That's the solidarity of our commitment to Him. Our relinquishing every other relationship in comparison to the relationship that matters most. Lord Jesus, help us to love you like no other. Lord Jesus, empower us to give you the place, the place in our hearts that no other can fill. Lord, enable us to be people that never put someone else above you, to have no other gods before us, no other connections that are placed in that single place of priority that we have put you. We love you, Lord. We surrender afresh to you. Teach us to keep you first. I hope I'll see you tomorrow as we dig into the last two hard sayings of Luke 14. Today, I hope you'll know he loves you. He's given his all for you. Now he's asked you to give your all back to him. See you soon.